All right, we're here in Savannah, Georgia at Screaming Jersey Style Pizza and Subs. We got ourselves a lovely pizza here, mm -hmm. and we're gonna do a one bite pizza review um, to compare it to boat pizza. So, holds up okay. Nice thin crust. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. I don't think you can really compare it to boat pizza. No, you have to. No, because boat pizza is deep pan pizza. That is true. I will say the sauce is not as good. It's very tomato y mm -hmm. as if we were going to do a comparison. Yeah. I like the homemade sauce better. This one's a little bit more saucy, like um, almost like a margarita pizza, kind mm -hmm. of kind of way more light, um, a lot more tomato y as well. <laughs> but the crust, I don't know if you can see that, but the crust has a nice, nice toast on the bottom. So I'd say out of 10 stars, um, I'm going to give it a good 7.3. 7.3. 7 7 7 okay. You just remember, though, this is a different style pizza. This is a New York style pizza here. Nice, flat, thin crust pizza. So the sauce is going to be mm -hmm. runnier and all that. Um, let's go make some boat pizza. All right. All right, let's talk about the ingredients that we're going to put into our boat. Um, cast iron pizza, <laughs> or our Chicago cast iron pizza on the boat. So a little different than what you might do at home. But first of all, let's talk about the sauce. I'm gonna take a, I want you to look at this sauce. I'm gonna have a spoon of how thick and delicious this sauce is. This is a very special, homemade, thick, special sauce, okay? So it's not like uh, a margarita pizza where it's really light and thin. It's a thick pizza sauce. How do you make a thick pizza sauce? You go to Walmart and you get some, you know, great value pizza sauce. 98 cents a can, right? Can't beat it. Can't beat it. Then, you this is not great value, but you just get a can, a small can of tomato paste. You take tomato paste, pizza sauce, pour it in here, and then you mix it. If you want to add a little extra Italian seasoning, go back to Walmart and get yourself some great value Italian seasoning. Sprinkle that in there, mix it up. You like a little kick in your pizza sauce? I like a little kick in my pizza sauce. Martin? Yes, yeah, sir. Martin likes a little kick in his pizza. You get a little crushed pepper, you sprinkle that in there, and you mix it up. And that's what makes this pizza sauce. It's a nice, thick, rich pizza sauce, ready to go, right? It's gonna make more pizza sauce than you're gonna need for this pizza. So don't throw away your jar, because you're gonna put the leftovers back in the jar, and then that way you can make pizza bread tomorrow. So that's, that's one part of the ingredients. Pizza sauce, very important. I want to talk to you about olives, right? So back in the day when I was a little kid and we used to have pizza at home, my job was to slice up the olives, right? And so you, if you, you can buy the pre-sliced olives in the can, that's fine. But I don't like how they're, how they're cut, right? So you just get yourself a, a regular can of olives, you know, $1.15 or whatever it is. And you take the olive, so it's a nice whole olive. And here's the trick: you really gotta you gotta slice it thin, right? It's gotta be paper thin. I want you to look at that. See? That's how you cut your olives. So when you use these olives, and when they cook on the top, they cook and they crispy and they get that little bit of just mmm, that yummy flavor. If you cut them too thick, they're not gonna get the yummy flavor. They're gonna be all, and olives are good. I like the olives. That's how you're gonna make the olives really stand out. Here's the other thing, pepperoni and salami. Okay, see these? Okay, when I went to the store and I asked them to slice it, I messed up and I said, I want it for sandwiches. I should have said, I really want the thinnest. Get this, the cut the thinnest you possibly can get it cut. Um, but this is okay. These are a little thick. So what I did is I took these and I cut them up into squares, or I squared it. And then what I'll do is I'll put that into the pizza, um, and that'll get all nice and crispy on the top too. We're gonna get to that. So anyways, that's the toppings, right? So I got some toppings here, and oh, cheese, right? Here we go again. Walmart, great value, mozzarella, bag of cheese. Here's another one. Now this is just what I like, Fiesta blend. Um, I'm only going to put a little bit of this on there. 
not the whole thing. Uh, again, great value. Thanks, Walmart. You get you, Walmart's getting us. Walmart should sponsor me on my boat <laughs> for my pizza because uh, you know this is again. This is boat pizza. This isn't at home. I have everything available. I have a car. I can drive to the store and get anything I want. This is boat pizza. We load up on the free on the cheap stuff here on the boats, so that we have the, a lot of it and we can survive a long time on the boat. Anyways, so a little bit of that pizza, a uh, little bit of that cheese, a little bit of whole uh, milk mozzarella cheese, and then we're going to be putting this thing together here in just a second for you. Um, but that is a little bit about the ingredients on the delicious deep pan cast iron pizza pan pizza. <laughs> what are we doing? All right, it's time to start building the pizza. All right, we're doing a deep pan cast iron pizza pan. What I've done is I've already smashed out the dough. Remember, it's my great value dough, 56 cents. <laughs> I, I'm not even, <laughs> I could care less. Um, but it's just, you know, it happens to be that we went and we provisioned at Walmart so this is what we use. I like it, it works, make it rid of that. So what am I doing? Okay, so I just heated up my pan a little bit because I like the pan to be warm before I put it in the preheated oven so that my, I, I don't know about you, but I like my bottom of my dough to be crispy. So we got it preheated, I got all the dough in there. It's all nice, it's almost like a, like a pie crust, right? Smells like it. Smells like <laughs> it, it's gonna be good. So here I got my, I got my, uh, my mozzarella cheese here. Real simple here, right? Boom. Pour that bag in there. <laughs> that might have been a little bit too much. And Just we, a little bit. We might have done a little too much <laughs> cheese here. Okay, I overestimated the cheese. I'm gonna put some cheese back in there. Boom, all right, we're good. I might not even, I thought I was gonna have to use some of the other cheese. No, I don't think you're gonna need to. I, I don't think so. Um, but uh, there. You got our cheese in there. Oh, for you uh, pizza makers out there. Oh, I'm putting my cheese in first. Yeah, I'm putting my cheese in first. There's a reason for that. Because I don't like my cheese to get all burnt on the top in, with this kind of pizza. So, um, there. The cheese is in there now. Now we got... Oh, remember my homemade sauce I made earlier? Mm-hmm. Yep. We're, we're going to take that. We're going to just pour that in there. Right? Boom. We're going to spread that around the top. It could mix in a little bit. It doesn't matter. We want this to get all nice and hot. Boiling. 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 <laughs> Boiling. And I like to get a little sauce. I don't know about you guys. I like to get just a little sauce around the dough. Yeah, so that... it's all nice and dried and delicious. Right. <laughs> right. It dries up on there. And then when you're eating your pizza your pizza crust, it's got a little, just a little pizza taste on there. <laughs> you know? Delicious. There. Oh, take a look at that. Okay. So I like a lot of this is a deep. Remember, this is a deep pan pizza. So this is going to be a nice, thick, saucy pizza. Boom. Okay, that's probably good. Bam. All right. Now we're going to take our salami, or you can start with the pepperoni. These are the toppings I like on this pizza. Um, I also like sausage. Spicy Italian sausage is what I like. Um, you know, uh, goat cheese. Some um, bell peppers if you're feeling fiesta. I know, I don't, I, damn it, I screwed up. I should have gotten some bell peppers. Yeah, <laughs> bell peppers, uh, chopped up, sliced up little teeny jalapenos. Mm -hmm. You don't like just putting raw onions on there because they don't really cook, um, right? Yeah, I, yeah, all of our onions aren't bad. Um, I'm not, but I bet you would onions. like the caramelized onions, like yeah, if you caramelized yeah. them first. Or, or if you put them on the very top so they get crispy, you know. I like everything. I like my meats and my stuff to get a little crisp on it, you know. So, um, so anyways, I'm going to stack up all this meat on here now. Boom. Look at that. We got a lot. Of, which, what I really like is like a really thin cut slice, you know, so that, but this is going to, this is going to work out just fine. It's like a meat pie now. Is it, well, that's what we're making. <laughs> right? And then we have all of our olives. Oh, yeah. I probably have more than any olives that I need. God, it'll be good. That's okay. I'm going to make, make it a charcuterie board tomorrow. Oh? Yeah. So tomorrow we're going to have some cheese and crackers and whatnot. Um, there we go. Okay. So I got that all spread out. Boom. 
Okay, I got my oven preheated. Oh, you know what I forgot about? This is some leftovers. Is this some thin? This is some leftover thin slice um, uh, Goodness. salami. <laughs> You know, yep. that we uh, that we had on a charcuterie board. You know, does anybody know what a charcuterie board is? Because <laughs> we're gonna stick this in the oven uh, at exactly at exactly 380 degrees, and we're gonna leave that in there, and the whole thing's gonna rise up and cook and crisp up and uh, mm. become delicious. It's gonna be good. Fiction. All right, pizza smells like it's done. <laughs> so we did it exactly between 360 and 380 degrees, and we did it exactly until it smelled good, because we don't really know how much time it took. Um, so, oh boy. That looks good. Right? So here's what I want you to notice, all those nice little thin cut um, olives, and everything got crispy on the top. Oh, oh yeah so take that out and that's how you get it out look at that's almost clean all right let's take a good look here and that's our pizza and we're gonna cut that up and we'll have a little couple bites of that here in a minute and we'll share that on how delicious that really is <laughs> all right our pizza's all ready it's all set up it's all ready to cut let's get a little close up here oh boy what I'm talking about. Ooh, man. It is a tough pizza to cut. There you go. Because it's a deep pan. Look at that little piece right there. I'm going to have to eat that. Right there on the America plate. We're going to get two pieces each. Ooh, none of that's going to go to waste. It's all going on there. <laughs> okay, that one's mine. I like the extra crispy pieces. And that one's Martin's. Mm -hmm. Delicious pizza. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go eat some pizza. So Martin's gonna do a, a taste review of the pizza. Deep pan. Look, at, it's holding its shape. Ooh, that's amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. and it's thick, so. Ooh, that looks good. Mm. 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 That little piece hanging off right there. Oh, man. It's wonderful. Yeah? Give me a review. I will say, I have 10 stars. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give this one a good solid 8.2. What? 8.2 stars mm -hmm. because it's crispy on the bottom yeah it's a deep dish which isn't my favorite kind of pizza but yep. it's yep it works boat pizza it's boat pizza it Remember, works it's, it's, boat it's pizza. very good the sauce mm, the sauce is really good got a little kick in there a little bit of, eh, a little bit of kick not much no but it's more than abby's or something okay. else that they All don't right. have any kick right, right so it's really good um so yeah that's where i'm gonna leave it How's the uh, the cheese underneath the meat and everything? Is that a oh, good way to go? It's a good way to go, yeah. Because now all the cheese is melted, but not like top toasted. Yeah. So now it's just like melty good cheese. And the top part that's toasted mm -hmm. is the good meats that you really want toasted. So all right. it's perfect. All right, folks. So there you have it. That's the uh, boat um, mm. pan pizza. You know, uh, you know, uh, made from uh, the old Walmart special stuff. Not, not necessarily, uh, you know, what most of you are going to go out. But you can make this exact same pizza from your local store. If that's what you want to do, go down to your little local high-end store. And you could do this pizza for three times the price. And it would be just as good. Enjoy. <laughs> this is, this is